Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. And my friends, we're praying for you as you send those requests in. We continue to pray for those people that have responded. And uh, we want to encourage you as we encourage one another. This is so important for believers. So are you still struggling with the past? Uh, when the Bible says in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and verse 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come, my friend. Yes, we still struggle with uh, a lot of things in our past, but we want to be set free from it. And one of the things that we do first is we cry out to God. And then we're going to pray. And we need to fellowship with other believers so we can encourage one another. Stray away and stay away will lead you back into the old life of bondage. And a lot of people are doing that. Do you think you can be a part-time Christian, show up whenever you want to, and avoid not being in bondage? So many people are doing that. They just come as they please, haphazardly worshiping, and it just does not work. The enemy wants you back into bondage. He loves it when you stray away, my friends. He loves it. When you don't fellowship, when you abandon the mission of making disciples that make disciples, you know what happens? What will cause someone to be lured back into the things uh, that they struggled with uh, to begin with? But first of all, we want to remember this. God does not tempt us back into sin. God does not do that. Now, he will test us, and he tests us so that we can understand and see that we're really not all that we think we are, and we're not as strong as we think we are. We need him, but God does not tempt us. Do we? Can we find it in the Bible? Yes, we can in James chapter 1 and verse 14, but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desires. So the things that we are lured into are things that we once did in the past. And those are things that continue to call our name, want us to go back. Well, remember what I said in the beginning, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, therefore, if any man, anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And James uh, tells us, this uh, in James chapter 1 and verse 12, blessed is the man who remains steadfast. So we have to remain steadfast. And I believe the way that we do that is first we cry out to God, then we pray to him, but we have to fellowship because we need each other to uh, encourage one another. We, we're an army of believers. And when we put on the whole armor, the enemy doesn't know, cannot recognize one from another. But James in, chapter, James in chapter 1 and verse 12 says, Blessed is the man that remains steadfast under trials. This whole life is a test, my friends. And there will be trials that will come up over and over and over. And we must remain steadfast. And the way that we do that is by calling out to God first, praying to uh, our Savior, uh, to God, and to encourage one another as we fellowship. It is so important that we fellowship. And I believe the main reason why we're struggling is we've abandoned the mission. And some people don't even know what the mission is. And it seems like now it's all about our comfort, our feelings, the things that we desire, the things that we want. But God says, seek him first, the kingdom. And he says, uh, put him first and all these things will be added to you. So stay fast under trials for when he has uh, stood the test, and that's what's coming at us, the test, the test, the test, the test. This life is a test. It's coming at us all the time. But the answers are right there in the scriptures. He says when he has withstood the test, he will receive a crown of life. My friend, there will be a reward for those that are steadfast in him, which God has promised to those who love him. My friends, I hope this message has been encouraging to you. Continue to send us 
uh, those prayer requests as we're praying for you and um, because it is so important. But we're going to talk about two things in our next lesson that most people are struggling with the most. And one is forgiveness. It just seems like that is so hard for us to let go of some things that has happened to us. But we must be able to do that. And the other is a sexual lust that continues to happen over and over. You might be surprised um, the reason why uh, these things have taken hold of us. And it really has comes down to uh, keeping our focus on Christ and fellowshipping one for another, being in this army of believers where we're about mission. Because sadly, many people have abandoned the mission. It's no longer about making disciples, reaching a lost and dying world. We've adopted this attitude of trying to fix this world by attaching our lives and our emotions to social issues. We cannot uh, let go of the mission, and the mission is to make disciples. And we, are, we will do that until we're gone. And then one day our Lord Jesus Christ will come back and rule on this earth, and I look forward to that day because nobody can straighten this mess out but Jesus himself. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things.